King Croker and Lord Internet. What's going on, guys? You know what? I think I'm ready right off the gate. Boosh! Look at that. Everything's already good to go. How's it going, man? Salty cuz Winter Brawl didn't fucking air. King of Fighters Top 8 or Tekken at all. At all? Huh. I, uh, I totally missed the morning shit. I, I woke up super late today. <laughs> like, I was expecting a little bit more roof work to be done. We got, like, a little touch-up job we were gonna do. Uh, but the guy got busy. So I slept in. I had a nice sleep. I stayed up really late last night. Uh, so I'm fucking with my sleep schedule a little bit. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. I don't know where my dog is. He was upstairs a moment ago. Like, uh... I don't know where he went. I swear. I swear. I don't know where he is. I... I... But he's... It's ready. This is his bed. It's there. It's all here. Whenever he wants to show up, he just plops himself. He'll be here at some point. I can't control the dog. We know this. We know this. <laughs> uh, but he'll be back. I, I don't know. He's probably outside or something. I'm sure he'll, he'll, he'll wander down here at some point. But yeah, Winter Brawl? Oh my god. That sucks. They didn't show Tekken or King of Fighters. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Is it Tekken Tag that they had? Or was it actually Tekken 7? Because I probably... <laughs> I don't think it, it probably wouldn't be too interesting. Like I don't think any of the big Tekken players were really there, right? So they're all, like, pumped up for FR now, as we all should be. Uh, you didn't watch Street Fighter V or Sonic Fox did pretty well but didn't win. Yes! Uh, so Street Fighter V ended up being... How did it end up being? Street Fighter V ended up being pretty damn good, to be honest. L.I. Joe took it, which was really cool. He, uh, he... Let's see, how did it go? Uh, Sonic Fox lost to... I want to say one of the Ken players. I think it might have been 3K or something like that. Never really heard the guy before. But he lost to that. Uh, and then... I think in Losers he lost to like, maybe another Ken player or something. I'm not, I don't quite remember. But yeah, he got knocked out pretty... Pretty... Uh, not, I can't even say pretty early. He made it to top 16. That's really good. Especially because he plays Mortal Kombat stuff, right? Mmm... Yeah, I don't know. It, he, he he got really far. He was playing Fang, and I think he just kind of didn't know the matchup too well against Ken. And got sort of ran over. But it was otherwise pretty cool. Oh, wow, another Nikali. <laughs> this is a nice start to the day. Hey, Lord Monica. How's it going? It's good to see you. Laura won a major in Canes. Yes, Laura won. Gutex was actually at that one. I guess a French thing or something. Gutex lost with his Armika. Guy's just trying to hit some buttons, I think. But yeah, he lost, uh... I don't know who he lost to, but Alora won that one eventually. He lost on his Armika. So I'm surprised he's actually playing Armika. Going a little too ham. Get rid of my stuff here. Kept it cool. Kept it simple. The guy kind of felt like it was hitting some buttons. Good shit. Mm. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. I didn't watch the French one. I kind of missed out on that. I would have liked to have seen Gutex play. I didn't. I kind of. I'm kind of interested in his, his Armika. Um. What else? What else? What else? What else? Mm. 
Yeah, so on the main one, what happened on the main... So Winter Brawl was really cool, right? Like, it was actually really, really neat. Uh, Sonic Fox got knocked out kind of early. I, I, I don't I even don't want to say that. He got out, knocked out before top 8. So he was up in top 16. So pause just a quick second. Mm, what happened after that? There was a guy named uh, Julio who was playing Ken. And the guy was really, really good with his Ken. But he was extremely... He was playing it the way I played in Nikali. He was doing some really unsafe shit uh, to kind of catch people off guard and then get, like, a big damage... Kind of kind of convert into a big damage. He played really, really solid, though. It's just that, you know, where I'm sloppy and bad and take risks, he's solid and good and take risks. Uh, and so he beat L.I. Joe and put him in this losers. And I believe L.I. Joe beat Arturo and beat F-Champ. And that's a whole other thing we can talk about. Uh, but basically, it, it was really like Julio. This Ken, this this Julio playing Ken was really good. Got knocked. Uh, he, the Julio went up into grand finals, knocked Li Joe back into losers. Li Joe beat his buddy Moons on his Bison, uh, and then he challenged Julio again back in grand finals and reset the brackets and won. So Li Joe came back. You know, he got up to like top three or something, and then. Win the losers and then took the entire tournament. So that was fucking awesome. Uh, fucking. <laughs> but even before all that, Street Fighter Five was really cool. I liked watching it. It was really neat. Maybe not the, like the coolest, most interesting game I've ever seen, but wow, it was really. It was a really nice tournament. Not a lot of killers there, admittedly. Uh, and then at the end of it, Big E, I guess the tournament organizer guy, uh, really popped off. Say an East Coast, West Coast. I don't. I, I don't know. <laughs> he specifically he called out Alex Vi, so I guess there's some uh, history going on there, probably, no doubt, being a rivalry sort of thing. Uh, oh shit, yeah, so now outside of Street Fighter V, even before all that happened, F Champ versus KBR, dude, that was some WrestleMania shit, right? That was complete WrestleMania shit. That couldn't have been real. It could not have been real. It had to be Collusian. It had to be. Like, the guy. KBR, like, completely threw that exhibition thing out the window, right? And then today, in the real tournament, beats the crap out of F-Champ. Well, I guess maybe not beat the crap out of, but he won. He won the tournament. He was first place beating out F-Champ. I guess it wasn't exactly free, though, <laughs> but he, he, he beat him out. He completely beat him out. Unlike in the exhibition, which I guess he just kind of sandbagged or something, but it was so... It seemed like F-Champ is popping off, he's like screaming in KBR's face like this is my game and shit like that. KBR, excuse me, <laughs> KBR is just chilling out, he doesn't do anything about it, he's just, he takes his loss in the exhibition, no matter how much of a punk F-Champ's being, he just takes it. And then in the tournament, he beats out F-Champ, he gets a chance to speak into the microphone when it's all over, and he doesn't say he doesn't say shit. He doesn't say shit about F Champ or anything. He just hangs out. Can I get another one? He just hangs out. He's like, oh, it was a nice tournament, thank you for having me. And yeah, he he shakes his hand and everything. It's done. Like, how does like <laughs> And then even before that, F Champ fucking broke two headset and his own stick in the Marvel tournament, uh, I think it was yesterday. I think he did it yesterday. He, he absolutely broke two headsets and his own fight stick after winning. He popped off because I guess the other guy was... People was kind of favoring the other guy. And he pulled it out. F-Champ pulled it out. Pretty weird. <laughs> so that guy is really volatile. And I've got, I think we've, we've known that for a long time. I think we've known F-Champ to be kind of a weird... I, I, I don't even know. Like, he really likes the wrestling side of this shit, I guess. I guess that's what it is. He loves to play it up. Uh, but it is pretty funny. I mean, even if it's fake. I, it, fake drama, real drama, I don't know. But it looked pretty funny to me. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, the expeditions, you know, the exhibition sucked, though. I, I kind of hated that because I used to like Marvel 3. I don't really care for it anymore, but, like, I used to like it. Uh, so it was kind of weird just seeing it kind of get dragged through like that. And I was like, oh, man, is this going to be what it's like at EVO? Are people just going to kind of fuck off and be stupid or something? They're not going to take it very serious? Whatever. But at the same time, before that, Marvel 2, did you see the Marvel 2 with uh, Fnatic and Execution? That shit was fucking, that was wildly good. That was wildly good. That was way, way, way too hype. 
<laughs> I didn't even know that shit was going down. I had no idea. Like, I've seen the Marvel 2 stuff with, like, clockwork and shit, but this rivalry, this this fanatic and execution thing, I, I didn't really know about that <laughs> until I looked it up and then watched the tournament yesterday, and that shit was so good. That was so good. Like, I, I almost legit wanted to play Marvel 2 after that happened. I was like, this is the coolest fucking thing. So, oh man, and then the fucking Execution 1, I guess that's the East Coast side, so like, everyone was losing their shit, Yipes is like, screaming into the microphone, oh man, it was really cool. That was really, really good. I love that tournament, it was really awesome. MVC 2 is a fucking great looking game, but I don't think I could ever play it. <laughs> it was, I, I just get shit on, totally. Literally just a written story. <laughs> I mean, it could be. I think it's collusion. I think it's collusion. It, how does he keep his cool? How does he fucking, like, let F-Champ go crazy? But also, just, like, why? You know? Like, why is F-Champ going so hard on this guy? I don't know. But I think, like, the truth truth of the... Oh, God, Nash. I think, like, the big truth of it all is that... Uh, KBR is kind of an asshole, too. Like, it sounds like when he goes does tournament stuff and he hangs out with people and like he, he crashes at people's places and stuff he's kind of a jerk like he doesn't offer to help around or anything like that kind of like a jerk and a jerk fighting it out i guess Trade! Damn. Nash's buttons are so good. It's so hard. It's so hard to get my to get anything started against his buttons. Round two. Fight. Alright, this guy's going a little bit ham. Just a little bit. I'm not quite sure. You know, he actually seems really good. I'm gonna try and go in a little bit. He might hit me a few times. I can't get any range on this guy. His buttons are so good. Bit of patience. The very last end of the bit there, I kind of figured he would jump. That was really good. If I hadn't dropped that stun, that would have been my game. But I dropped the stun. Well, I gotta take that back. I don't think I could have killed. You know what it was? I actually paused in the middle of my combo to look at my bars to see which bar had full V meter because I couldn't tell. <laughs> Uh, but you know what? This dash, I gotta be honest with you, this dash forward thing in the command grab, it's kind of working out a little bit against certain people. If I get guys that aren't mashing too bad, that are actually being defensive and blocking, like, it, it seems that there, there is something behind it that I haven't figured out yet. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. A little scary. Anyways, what am I missing in chat, man? <laughs> Getting too wrapped up. You watched the MC2 exhibit, didn't listen to it. Man, it was hype as fuck, dude. It was seriously hype. 
Oh man, <laughs> Yipes' face, he made the fucking like Sinestro face, you know? I've never seen a man that evil looking. That was some evil intent in that guy's eyes, but oh man, that was awesome. That was really good. Man, I guess I, th I think Yipes hates F Champ. <laughs> like, there's kind of a feud going there, and he, he definitely let that slip out. It was pretty, uh, pretty cool. How does he keep his cool? It's called Asperger's syndrome. <laughs> Like I, I think maybe also he's got sponsors, right? He's probably got sponsors, and he had to, he had to, if he, if he were to like actually lose it, and punch F Champ, like, you could say goodbye to your sponsors, man. That's that's not gonna fly. <laughs> Check the tweeter. All right, what's this? Oh, what's up, Tovar is awesome. Tovar is awesome. I keep fucking that up. How's it going, dude? Oh god, I don't want to see that shit. Oh man, <laughs> give me a break. Is that fucking... That's Aramika's butt slap with the Ryu model? I don't need that, dude. I don't need that. That's some crazy shit right there. <laughs> I bet there's all sorts of model swaps, right? It, it, probably all of them involving hot Ryu costume. That's what I imagine. Oh. Winter Ball, that was really good, dude. I'm so happy L.I. Joe won. Like, that guy works really hard. I see that guy stream every once in a while. Man, he works really hard. <laughs> Just Tovar? That's cool, man. How you doing today? Damn, damn, damn. I'm so worked up on that tournament, and now I gotta... Now I gotta, I gotta go back down to my play level, which is totally terrible. <laughs> Ugh. At least we're getting some matches, that's good. I hit the, the leg feels kind of iffy tonight, but it's been feeling kind of iffy for the last couple days. Uh, it's just been that way. A lot of people have been bringing it up, and Capcom's aware of it and all this shit. Oh, you know, Capcom is actually taking care of rage quitters. They want people to send in their recordings of people rage quitting. It's kind of weird. Like, it's kind of weird, because I feel like you could pretty... Maybe not easily, but you could probably, like, you know, not Photoshop, but, you know, fake out some video that, like, you know, shows people race quitting when they didn't. That sounds like it could be, it could kind of easily be done. Oh, God, Bison. Lord Bison. I knew a dash was coming, I just, I didn't know what to do about it. <sighs> Another dash, maybe? Nope. Pressed forward and down too much. Didn't get my dash out. That is so good. It tracks you. I should probably react to it. Any sleeping dongs? To <laughs> Any sleeping dongs tonight? Damn, Monica, I never saw that coming from you. That's amazing. Good shit. We will do some tonight, for sure.
That was my stupidity. Why did I think you'd hit a button? Why did I go for DP? Because I am dumb. There's no excuse for that. There was no excuse for that. I had a winning strategy and I threw it out the door. <sighs> I missed some conversation. What's going on? Uh... God damn, you guys are talking. I'm not used to this. <laughs> I don't have a really big chat window for you guys. It's kind of rough. Uh, one dude faking RQ on one dude isn't a big deal. Any sleeping dogs tonight? Yeah, we'll, we'll do some sleeping dogs tonight, I think. I just want to get some of this out of the way. get Burn off a little bit of extra energy. And then we'll chill out with sleeping dogs. Uh, kind of want to do this. Honestly, it depends on how the matchmaking is going. It's, it's a little rough, but it's been a little rough for the last couple days. They're working on it. That's what they say. Mm. I don't know where Chowder is. Like, he must be outside or something. Uh, he'll, he'll probably come down at some point. Uh, he usually does. <laughs> My dong is asleep, huh? My dong's wide awake. It's been wide awake since, uh, fucking... <laughs> it's been wide awake since fucking Winter Brawl. Oh shit, an actual casual match. I haven't had one of these yet. Mm. Nice amount of couch. Yeah, it's quite a bit of couch. No dog on it yet. Also, it looks like this. Yeah, I really should have gone for it. I should have gone for it literally anything else but a DP, but I'm bad. Like, what can I say? I'm bad at this game. I'm trying to learn. <laughs> I gotta break all the horrible tendencies I have. I hope I break it. Like, maybe if I play Alex, I'll break out of my bad DP habit. Because he doesn't have one. At least he shouldn't have one. In any case, I wanted to let you guys know, this thing here, the screen screen... I think my camera might be going uh, kind of bad. It's pro more likely it's probably the USB ports, multiple ports that I use for the camera. I think it's starting to power down or, or have some issue. Uh, that's why you'll occasionally, probably more often, you'll start seeing this fuck up. Which really sucks. Round one. Uh, but you know, whatever. Fight. It's just, I don't really know how to fix it or anything. One time I think he's actually gonna... That works? God, I think this guy's gonna go for throws like crazy. He hasn't thrown yet. Throws are scary in this game. The scroll... Fucking scrolls are scary. Throws... Throws are scary. Scrolls are scary too, but we're not playing Marble anymore. One time she didn't DP, I was expecting her to. Uh, I can't adjust to all these crazy people online, I swear. They're just... they play too wild and too different. Not to mention the matchup knowledge is tough. Uh-oh. I see a white moving thing in the distance. That's not good. Uh, man, you don't get a run back in casual match? Oh, that sucks. Ah, eh, whatever. Who cares? That's <laughs> such an I am awesome shit moment. <laughs> that person just pressed buttons, that's all they did. But I don't understand Cammy's normal, so... You can press buttons on Cammy and win on... You can press buttons on a lot of characters. Actually, I would say I'm getting pretty used to, like, half the roster. I came back on that bison, you know? I'm getting used to this stuff. It's just... I gotta adjust, and it's very difficult. But I'm getting a lot better. I am getting a lot better. Oh, I don't give a fuck about LPs, dude, you know that. I don't give a fuck about League Points. I, I only do these two modes because they're the only ones that work. Battle Lounge doesn't work. I can't believe casual matches work. Like, people were saying they, they weren't getting any casual matches. This game is like... I don't know. They really half... They half-assed it. 
I thought at least that they would come out with a solid online thing, right? They've done all these betas. You think this shit would just be locked down tight, but it really isn't. I mean, we take a while to get connected, and then some of these matches just have a little bit of, like, you know, delay behind them. I don't know. How many betas do you need to get this kind of thing squared away? Whatever. It's unforgivably bad. It is. I, I at least was hoping for an internet thing, though. Because they really pushed for it. They were really like, hey, this is eSports. Let's, let's be internet now. You know, the casual crowd, the modern day crowd. They want, they want their internet, you know. They want the internet to be solid. They, they want to get this game out for the eSports dudes. It's like, yeah, fine. But as long as you have the internet, and you had four betas, kind of more than four betas, and this, it's still kind of, I don't know, lackluster. It was, what I'm trying to say is I had better time in the betas than I am at the release of the game, and that seems totally wrong. <sighs> Round one. Yeah, it's difficult figuring out some of the buttons. Oh, that didn't leak. Yeah, this guy likes to jump, but he's very defensive. Okay, lots of jumping. I don't get what this guy is doing. Like, he has 900 points. He's not just jumping, is he? Round two. Whatever. This guy's doing shit. These guys are just not playing the way that I want them to play. No one plays the way I want them to play. It's really irritating. Timer scam? God, it'd take forever if I did that, dude. <laughs> Man, I hope you guys are having a good day. Did any of you other guys watch Winter Brawl? I guess you're probably not fighting game fanatics or fans or whatever. Not like me and Croker. But shit, that was really fun. That was a great tournament. I'm so happy L.I. Joe took it. it. Makes me want to play Nash. Like I, could, I do want to learn Nash now. But I, I would just... I, got, I really gotta focus on what I know and get decent at that. You're gonna kill Halo. The new one? Have any of you guys played that? I haven't played it yet. I think I did a little bit of testing on, not that one, but there was like a real-time strategy Halo. It's like a free-to-play game. God, that was so stupid. That was just a dumb thing. I don't even... They just they just said it was Halo to make some money, you know? It wasn't, it wasn't even a thing. You go know, way too early not to watch King of Fighters. Oh, God, that is such a depressing thing, dude. I have them, but you can make it sound interesting. It's really cool. Like, I mean, these guys play just so damn good. It's so cool to see it. It's so cool to watch these guys play, like, on a level that I can't even, I can't even approach. 
they do these great ta everybody's kind of on the same level so they have to develop tactics against each other like if i tried to do like a shimmy in here i think i'd just get fucked <laughs> even if i could all right here's a karen I gotta try and do that more often. These guys like to be defensive. That seems to work. Round two. Fight. Man, that's so close. Trying to punish that Rekka, that's pretty rough. Not quite working. Mm. You win. <sighs> Why do I only use one character? Uh, I am really bad at fighting games. <laughs> so let me, like, I guess, I probably told you guys some before, but just because I love talking about it. <laughs> I've always, ooh, I'm a Ultra Bronze again. I used to be Ultra Bronze, but then I suck, so. <laughs> uh... So I've always loved fighting games, but I've never played competitively. I've always been very casual with this stuff, you know? I kinda wanna switch to sleeping dogs now that I leveled up. Is that okay? Can I get a can I get a quick vote, sleeping dogs? Would you guys rather do I kinda would rather just switch over to that. I'm just not feeling it very well tonight. I'm doing pretty good, but I don't know. I'm a little <laughs> I think I'm a little nervous or something. Uh, but yeah, I've always loved fighting games. Uh, but I've always played it casually ever since, like, fucking, I don't know, Tekken, Street Fighter 2, you know, way old shit. Way old shit. Sleeping Dongs? I was really happy you guys would say that, because I, I, I don't know, I'm not feeling it today. Like, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. Thank you very much. Let's go switch over to Sleeping Dogs. But yeah, I've always loved fighting games, and, uh, I picked up... I picked up, um, 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 um Exerd when PlayStation 4 hit. Do I need to do anything to kind of separate these two? Yeah, I do. Let me let me work on this while I explain shit. Let me throw this up. <laughs> 